Hello guys, Tom again here. Um, it has been a long time that I am back um, here for another talkie episode. Um, this is completely unplanned. I was not planning on making a video now or anytime soon, so a um, bit of a surprise. Um, but here we are on the Shafru server and talkie time. So, um, what's happened? Um, I guess I should talk about what's going on with me at the moment. Um, actually, just give me a sec, I'll do something. Okay, I'm back. Um, so, what's happening with me at the moment? Um, as you've probably noticed if you're watching this video, that I haven't uploaded anything in about two months, maybe even more by now. Um, it's hard to keep track. Uh, which is kind of annoying, you know, like I was on a good run, I was uploading a lot um, daily even at times, I think, which was crazy um, and well, that stopped suddenly, didn't it? Okay, so here's for all the excuses and everything Hour one, it was not holidays anymore and school had started so, um, yeah, I didn't have as much time to do this kind of stuff, play games um, and record and all that <clears throat> and edit videos, that's what takes the longest really so yeah that's one reason um, and I wanted to focus on school um, because it is an important year um, and obviously I would have time you know um, during the school, like right now it's still school and I'm recording a video but I just didn't really feel like it. Um, I just every once in a while it gets to me how little my channel has grown over the like three years or something I've been doing YouTube, um, and I haven't grown much at all. Um, which does thing make things a bit bland, you know? There's no one new to talk to and stuff, so that's the reason. Um, so just uninspired to do so. Um, and also, my main series really at the time was my um, FIFA, FIFA theme, uh, Arsenal career mode. Well, that's a bit of a problem there. Um, my save file got deleted. I accidentally over um, wrote it, wrote it, overwrote it um, with a different career mode I was doing, not for YouTube. And that was very annoying when I found out I had done that. I was just I just sat there and stared at the screen for quite a while, just what have I done kind of thing. Uh, so that wasn't very good. Um the Pokemon Insurgents series well I don't want to go through that as quickly as I was going because it's still in development, so I don't want to catch up to where they hadn't developed yet, because then I'll just be waiting around for an update, which they do not come out with very regularly at all. Um, and also, I just wasn't having as much fun as I thought I would have uh, playing that game. So, yeah, I didn't feel like playing that. Uh, what else? This here? No ideas. I had n zero ideas for builds on this. I still don't really. Um, that's why I'm not doing anything productive. I'm just kind of walking around. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, I think that might be it. Oh, in terms of um, Tom's Hardware, which is kind of a series, um, I'm not actually selling my desktop. I'm still on my desktop, as you can see there. Still the same GPU and CPU. Um, yeah, because, well, one, my desktop wasn't selling, and that made me think, um, and I just thought to myself, I don't actually need a laptop. Like, I'd been at school for a bit, and I didn't need it. They have, uh, like, Chromebooks there for you to use if you don't have your own device. And I was using those, and it was fine. Um, and I, I just kind of felt obliged to get a laptop since my parents gave me a small amount to buy one. So I felt like I needed one, but really I didn't once I thought about it. So they're putting into that. Um, yeah. I've also been doing something else to do with computer hardware. I'm building systems um, 
well, I'm going to, I'm planning on building systems, buying parts for cheap, uh, second hand, and then making them into a system and selling them, hopefully for a little bit of profit, uh, more for just fun though, a uh, bit of a hobby, I think something to do. Um, but I'll make, I'm planning on doing build logs of the systems I build, so that will be really fun. I'm looking forward to that. I just need a C. Oh no, I just bought one. You know when I said I need to go and do something? It's because an auction was closing on a CPU I was buying and I have won the auction. So that's that. Um, so a system bill will be coming up soon. Pro probably even before this video. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take me to upload this video. Oh, I have a cleric now. Oh, that is so cool. Rod and flesh for emeralds, yay. Um, I'm actually just going to talk about this village for a sec, I guess. Uh, you guys haven't seen this, but I made this months and months and months ago. <laughs> I had not, I have not made a video on the shaft crew with this in it. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much just a village. All these white blocks, mainly quartz, and I had to use birch because I need doors. So in order to make that work, I used it for floor and everything as well. Uh, so I think I've only got three villages here. Um, I did have more. Looks like three. Um, but they do, I'm not sure if in 1.8.3 if they still do this, um, but when they're here, like they go right to the edge, and then when they turn around to go that way, they do their little walk in a circle thing and go around, so they actually just fall off, um, even though their um, pathfinding is actually making them go that way, they still fall off if they're on the edge. So that's not very nice, I lost quite a few villages that way. Um, some good ones as well, but you know, what are you going to do? But it seems like they haven't fallen off in a while, so that's good. The plan was to, even if they did fall off, that they were going to uh, repopulate the area uh, fast enough, so that they weren't all they wouldn't all die. So that's great. Um, yeah, that's just basically that. I don't know what to do for the next island, so that's why I've kind of stopped doing anything here. Okay, so that's, I think, all I have to say about YouTube. Oh, yeah, I haven't done much at all um, on the server and for YouTube. Um, let me just look at my channel here, see what other series I had going. Just been a while. Um, Mine Z. Uh, me and Sean did start playing that this weekend, actually. And maybe I'll start recording that again if I feel like doing YouTube <laughs> um, because you know for a while since I haven't been making videos I've kind of been thinking is it worth worth it to continue uh, but I think it is really um, it is fun and it it just takes up time which when I have I'm happy to use to do this so yeah uh, what I, okay so what I want to talk about um, is kind of cyber safety kind of talk thing because um, it has come to my attention that a lot of people are not aware about the way the internet works which is you put in, uh, information about yourself or anything on there and it is pretty much open for everyone at that point um, even though it might seem safe it's you know it it's almost certain that there is a way to get that information um, through the internet. So, there is this website, um, I can't remember the name, but you can, um, like, well there's several websites where if they say it's anonymous, you say something, um, and then in their terms and conditions of that website they actually say that they can use the information, they can broadcast it to the media of all types and everything. Um, they have the rights to use that information um, and maybe even your identity, I'm not you know, 100% sure but just generally that's how it is. Um, and a friend of my mum's uh, daughter, I'm not going to say any names or anything um, actually posted something on one of these websites uh, confessing to something or 
or I, I don't know, maybe she was asking for advice on the situation. Um, and being the internet, uh, everyone told her she was a bad person and that she should, should uh, kill herself and commit suicide and all that great, brilliant stuff. Um, so being um, a young teenager, 14 I think, uh, she took this very badly, you know. Um, it had been going on for months, the hate on this website. Um, and I don't know how people found out her, her identity. Probably through her own um, mistakes that she was not aware of. Um, people found out who she was. So that that's not very good. And she actually uh, tried to uh, um, commit suicide. Uh, quite recently actually um, without not, she hadn't told anyone about this that I know of not her parents or anything um, they only found out when she took a bunch of pills um, she didn't die thankfully uh, so yeah that's a very extreme case um, but yeah Don't put things on the internet that you're not even comfortable about telling anyone in the real world um, on any kind of site. Full stop normally, but I do know how it is uh, to feel like you can't talk to anyone um, about your situation or whatever, so you feel like you need to do something anonymous online and ask for help. Um, and in, you know, on the internet it's a good way to do that, but you have to do your research um, about where you're doing this, read terms and conditions, read what other people have said, what comments are on there, because all that hate and everything was through the comments of that website from other people. Um, so, yeah, um, it's not safe. Don't do it. Um, honestly, talk... Um, to your, you know, if you have a good friend, any good friends who actually won't judge you and tell everyone to make fun of you for whatever your situation is, um, then talk to them first. Um, if you don't have a friend like that, um, which I mean, does happen if you don't have a close friend, talk to your parents. <laughs> That's what they're there for. I know it's kind of awkward to talk to your parents about weird stuff, um, but you know, they are there, you might as well use them while you live in their house, alright? Um, but online, make sure if you do, make sure you trust the thing you're doing. It. Uh, like there is this YouTuber who I know of, um, who takes comments and in a video series of his, uh, talks about them and gives people advice on how they should deal with that situation or how he thinks, what's his opinion. Um, and there's some really weird stuff that people get themselves into, um, which is, he's genuinely trying to help, which there are some websites and some people who want to do that, but, you know, it's unsafe. Um, and a big part of it is your identity, keeping your identity secret, uh, which is the next part of this. Um, I'm not saying I'm perfect, okay? Um, I'm just aware of the situation. So, when you search up my name, I'm not going to tell you my name, my full name, because that's part of trying to protect my identity. Um, my YouTube life and my personal life are completely separate, except for the people who watch my videos who know me. Um, hi to you guys. Um, but when you Google my name, all that comes up is a Google Plus page with nothing on it. And I, I mean nothing. I've made anything like posts by me or anything private. Um, you can just see who's in my Google Plus circles, which is just family. Um, what else? Uh, even my profile picture um, has nothing to do with um, any other account um, that's linked with my YouTube channel or anything. Uh, so. Really, if no one tries very hard, um, they can't find much information about me. 
like not even oh maybe my birthday but yeah um it's kind of doubtful actually so yeah that's the way it really should be but even then if people really tried I'm sure they could find out um, everything about me or not everything but a lot of things because that's just how it is but you've got to make it as hard as possible for these people um, like with Facebook I don't even have a Facebook because I just don't like the idea of my whole social life and my identity being there as a page on the internet that people can access see photos of me and everything my birth date all that stuff and who I talk to and how I talk to them um, because I'm sure you guys are aware now. Uh, if you go for a job, they're going to look at your your uh, social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, all that uh, Instagram kind of stuff. So what you put on there could actually affect your life, not on the internet. Uh, so you've got to be careful of that stuff. And what I've heard, apparently, on Facebook if you or anywhere, if people find out your birth date, they can get your bank details just from your birth date uh, and your name probably I'm guessing because um, I'm sure there's more than one person with your birth date so that there is an example of how crazy the system is um, and how careful people need to be about the information I mean just your birth date I mean yeah you'll sacrifice people not being able to see your real birthday on Facebook or anything and you'll get messages on the wrong day <clears throat> but that doesn't really matter it really doesn't so yeah, sorry, lost my train of, train of thought. Um, but yeah, anyway, so really, if you post anonymously, I'm doing quotation marks with my fingers, doesn't really work though, no face cam. Um, it's uh, most likely not really anonymous. Um, so you got to trust the thing you're posting this personal information on, really. Um, and if possible, not at all. Don't just don't <laughs> post it on the internet. Um, then comes all the negativity. So if you're being bullied on the internet or cyberbullying, um, really just there's no other thing to do except ignore it, really. Uh, maybe if the website has some kind of moderation for accounts, you can report that account. Um, but it's quite possible they won't do anything about it but just delete that account it's obviously not a very good website not a very nice community on that website you don't want to talk to these people just move on and move away from it just delete account and everything you know um, and that's also why you gotta make sure you trust the account you know, the website you're doing this if you've got information on your profile on that account um, like email addresses or anything, people can get that and then email you as well as message you on the website, which is not good because if you don't actually trust that website as it comes later on, you get these hate comments, you're getting emails as well, and then you know, um, it's, it's not good. You know, information should be private, very private as much as possible. That's pretty much what I'm getting at here. Uh, really, if you're on the internet, you should. Um, comes to the realization that people's opinion doesn't really it shouldn't affect your life um, that you know that majorly uh, I can't think of the word but yeah it shouldn't impact your life that much um, as much as um, killing yourself because it's your life um, so if you are bullied just don't you know, stay strong, think, um, you know, positive, uh, say, I'll give you an example of someone said to me, um, you know, you're useless, why don't you just kill yourself, what's the point in you, you know, um, think about, you know, what you enjoy, uh, what you're good at, right, I'm good at uh, computers and stuff, I build computers, not many people my age do that. Um, that I know of. <laughs> you know, I enjoy that. I have friends. Friends are always very important in these situations. They're the people there who support you. Or they should. If they don't, then they're 
pretty much dicks, aren't they? So, yeah, you need you need support. You need your support group, which should be your friends first, then your family, in my opinion, um, because you don't really choose your family. <laughs> so, but you do choose your friends. Um, if you get what I mean there. It might just sound bad, like I don't like my family, but I do. Um, it's just I'd rather talk to my friends first. Um, what else is there to say? Uh, just got to be careful on the internet. Because people are mean, and, you know, people who are bullied, a lot of them go on and bully someone else. And it's just the cycle of awfulness continues to go around um, and I think people need to be aware so that things like that teenage girl trying to commit suicide doesn't happen because if she was aware that this website and that that's how things work on the internet um, she most likely wouldn't have done it and if she had a friend who was aware um, of this might have been more open to talk about anything like that kind of attitude um, yeah you know it's just we all need to support each other against the bad bullies who are probably people who have been bullied so if that stops all the bullying stops those people will stop and we will all live a happy life be online and your parents won't constantly constantly be telling you to be careful online because that gets annoying, even if it is true. Okay, that's pretty much all I have to say, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know if I'll post this video. <laughs> um, it's been a while, and I kind of just randomly started talking. It might have been a complete ramble, and you might not have been understanding what was happening in the video. I didn't really do anything on the server. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to quickly talk about what I'm doing here. This is kind of a cool area, I found. It's right by my clouds, which are over, just over there. Yeah. Um, it's called like Entrance Way here. It's kind of like a Lord of the Rings kind of um, like area where there would be like a fortress or a town of some sort, like in the mountains. Um, and so there's that. Uh, and then over here, this is kind of cool might put some kind of like blacksmith or something like in this area uh, that's cool and it's just completely surrounded by mountains except for this side here which I am planning there there and there I'm planning on building a wall this is kind of a a mock-up wall I'm not sure how good that is I don't really like it so I'm probably going to change it but that's just the basic look possibly might completely change Um once again don't expect me to do many these episodes because I really don't know what to do. I have things to talk about but nothing to do during them. That's really what's been stopping me. Um, and here's a zombie spawner. They come down here and they're two hits. It took me so long in a live stream. Um, I was trying to figure out how to make them one hit um, like hours and hours but I can only get them to two hits or they die so yeah two hits it is. And a chest for storage um, yeah. and the enchanting table with Oh, wow. I left these here. Yeah. Kind of cool, I think. Looks good. And there's a light to turn it off and on. Um, zombies drop down here. But I can't be bothered waiting to tell you that. To show you that. Oh, I might as well do the outro here then. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be safe. Be careful on the internet. Um, and yeah, I think I've pretty much said all that needs to be said. I'm going to watch this video over, see how awful it is. And if it's kind of like not that awful, probably going to upload it. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, also, if you are, if you do like the FIFA videos, let me know in the comments. Um, if you actually want to let, uh, want me to upload the last episodes before that I recorded before the thing got um, deleted, but they were recorded months ago, like months and months ago, so yeah, but let me know. See, two hits, dead. So that's how this works. Okay, thanks for watching guys, see you later.